Hi, welcome back guys. Today I am back with another new video. In this video, I will discuss with very interesting topic date and time function in SQL. Basically, this is very important function if you work with any project or if you go with any interview. So most of the time interviewer are asked how you handle the date and time function in SQL. So basically in this video, I will I will give you a brief introduction how you handle the date and time function in SQL. Correct. So basically, uh, one function are their get date function. Get date function in SQL Server basically is return the current date and time. So basically, here you can see the output is the return the date and time combination. Is the year, month, date, and hour, minute, second, and minute second also. Correct. Suppose you want to filter the only year from the get date or any given date. How you can filter the only year? So in that case, you have to pass the only year. Year is the built-in function in the SQL Server and you have to pass the get date. Correct. So I have to close the bracket also. So if I run this query, so now here you can see I will extract the only year from the current date. Okay. Suppose I want to extract the month also. Month is also built-in function. If you run this query, I will get the current month. Is the one is basically replaced on the January. Correct. If I want to find the day, is the which day? If I run this query, I will get the current day also is the 4 January 2025. So here you can see the is the 4 January 2025. But one more option are there. If you find the year, month, day and hour, minute, second also, I will show you the format function. Correct. Format is basically use the formatting the year and time. Basically, which format you want. Format function basically is takes two arguments. Suppose I want to uh, extract the year also so in that case i have to pass the gate date is the current date and i have to pass i have to extract only year so in that case i have to give the four times y y y y so if i run this query i will get the current year if i i want to the extract the month also so in that case i have to give the capital mm capital mm represent the month if i run this query i will get the month also if I want to the like day also, I have to pass the C, a small dd. I will get the combination of year, month and day. But sometimes it's requirement are there. Suppose I want to formatting the yy slash mm slash dd. So if I formatting the data, I will get the format the output. So you can see that 2025 slash 01 slash 04. Okay, but I want to the hour also. So in that case, I have to use the capital H. If I use capital H, I will get the current in from the uh, hour from the gate date. Basically, H capital H represent the 24 hour format. Correct, 24 hour format. And small H is represent the 12 hour format. 12 hour format. 12 hour format. So if I want to the like hour, I have to pass the minute small mm represent the minute and capital mm represent the month. I want to the second also SS. So if I run this query, I will get the year and uh, year month date and hour minute second also. But HH is represent the 24 hour, but I want to the show the 12 hour format is the requirement are there. Suppose in that case, I have to use small HH and I have to pass two time TT. Correct. TT is basically represent the AM or PM. If I execute, so here you can see the 12 PM, 38 minute and 28 second. Now go with the date part function. Next function. Date part function is the same thing almost. You have to extract the date in the from the uh, this function. I will show the date part function. Date part. Date part function. Basically date part function also take the two interval. Interval and date time. So in that case, suppose I want to extract the year, I have to pass the get date. If I run this query, I will get the year. If I, I want to the extract the month, I will pass the month, I will get the date part from the month. I want to the extract the day, I will pass the day, I will get the day number is the four. I want to like uh, extract the hour, I will to pass the hour. I will get the hour also. So basically you can see if I want to the millisecond, you have to pass the millisecond also, you will get the millisecond. Basically date part, using date part function, you have to part any uh, like which one you want basically in your requirement. Correct. Now go with the date div function. 
date dip is the uh, like sound is saying like the difference between the from date and the to date i'll show you that select date dip function date dip function is the basically take three parameters interval and from date and end date correct suppose i want to extract the year <coughs> from the uh, extract the year between the from date and to date suppose i have to give the from date is the 2024 like uh, october and 05 and i have to pass the gate date basically in the gate date i have year 2025 and here 2024 so i have only one year difference so if i execute this query so now you can see that only one year difference suppose you want to month difference you have to pass the month you will get the three month difference execute this query you will give the three month difference if you want to the day difference correct basically this query is very input helpful uh, suppose you want to find the current age from the any employee or any person so you have to pass the like employee date of birth and pass the current date so based on that you have to find the current age from any employee so basically date dip function you have to pass the like if you want to the um, difference uh, how many hour difference are there you have to get the hour difference also so i hope you understand this video if you still have any doubt please comment on the below if you visit this channel so first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye